Hello everybody, welcome back. We're going to start something here I've had in mind for a while, a new kind of direction for the channel. Now, if you've been reading the Facebook updates, you know I mentioned something about this. We're going to be mostly a PS4 channel, which is why the Overwatch videos have been Overwatch on PS4 videos, obviously. Now, as a big fan of sci-fi as well, I'm also going to try and focus on sci-fi and space-related games on the PS4, of which there is not that many, so it shouldn't be too hard. Now today what we have is a game called Adrift, came out in July of last year, 2016, and it's on sale right now for $4.99, it's normally $19.99 in Canadian dollars, I'm not sure in the US, it's a flash sale going on right now, so I thought I would check it out for 5 bucks. Figured it couldn't hurt. So, I uh, played a little bit of the tutorial, just the EVA training, just to get a handle on how it goes. Now, this game was described as a first-person experience, so I wonder if that's more of a story-driven game. So that just might mean that these episodes might end up being a little bit longer than the 10 to 25 minutes that we're shooting for. Instructor, hand for administra, series 4, version 1.6. Trainee, commander, so we'll get some exposition here. Mission, Hardeman Aerospace North Star 4. Mission, active date, 29, September, 2035. I wonder if it makes you go through the tutorial anyways, because this is what the tutorial looked like. To invert EVA control system, access options menu. Yeah, it does just make you go through the tutorial again. The tutorial is just basically teaching you how to handle your EVA suit here. Oh, good. We can skip it. We'll just get right into the game here. I'm sure you don't want to see the tutorial. It's just prompts on the screen, Tony. Hit this button to do that. Uh, you do get full control. You can go up and down. You can twist, kind of barrel roll, forward and back. Full 360 control, which is kind of neat. It might take a little getting used to here, but we'll try it out. It's a neat little loading screen here, too. Hardeman seems to be the company that you seem to work for in the game. Now, I know nothing about this game other than the description on the PSN store and the little tutorial I went through. Now, the tutorial, like, it just teaches you the controls, like I said. It was just about three minutes long, so... So it wasn't much. So you're not really missing much by me skipping it here. So we'll see what's going on here. Survivor detected. Are we the survivor? Survivor detected. Survivor detected. 20 years in the future. Survivor detected. So what's going on here? Survivor located. Initializing EVA HUD display. Oh, we're waking up. We can finally see here. Oh. Interesting, we seem to be starting in kind of a rough spot here. Do I have control yet? I do seem to have a little bit of... So like I mentioned, this was described in the PSN description as a first-person experience, so it might be less of a game and more of just a oxygen leak detected a linear narrative that we just fall along manual oxygen refill required so i think we got to find oxygen tanks as we go along here yeah there we go do we have a max level oh Go grab that one. Come on. All right, we can kind of right ourselves here. Take a look around. Where do we want to go? All right, let's start swimming this way. So we seem to be in the space station here. It kind of looks like a more advanced version of the ISS. It seems to be in a rough spot. Looks 
This game's beautiful. Data transfer in progress. Identification verified. So our suit seems to be kind of messed up here because we're bleeding oxygen at a, a pretty quick rate here. Oh, there's some more in front of us here. Luckily, it looks like there seems to be a lot of oxygen strewn around here. And some food. Okay, I think this is the way we got gotta go here. So we wake up in space. No idea what happened. Oh, awesome. So our, our oxygen doubles as both life and fuel. And we're going to be burning probably a lot of fuel here using our thrusters. No, I didn't j mess with any difficulty settings, so we're just playing on normal. I don't even know if there are difficulty settings, so I don't know if it's going to be hard to find oxygen, but it does seem to be pretty plentiful so far. Let's slow down here. Let's see if we can get our hands on some more here. Let's see if we can come to a stop. There's more oxygen behind us here, wasn't there? Somewhere. There it is. Okay, so maybe four and a half is our max right now. It seems to be as far as... as high as we can go. Oh, red blinking lights here. I hope I didn't miss something. Uh, who's talking? Is that us talking? It's probably not us talking. Oh, where are we going? Slow down a little bit here and get our hands on some of that sweet, sweet oxygen. Yeah, so four and a half does seem to be the max right now, so one can at a time seems to be enough. So I wonder if we just need to figure out what happened. Hardiman Aerospace North Star 4. Catastrophic event detected. I would say something catastrophic happened. Things just blown up in pieces here. Particle effects work really nice, though. So what happened? We start passing checkpoints here, so we know we're going in the right direction. Maybe we just follow the destruction. Let's take a look around. Now, I'm pretty sure this was made in Unreal 4 engine, and you know, it kind of shows. Beautiful, beautiful engine. I've seen some YouTube videos of people just using the engine just to make stuff, like just scenes and images, and I've seen some really cool stuff. Like a guy built just a... as like an off-road racing kind of scene, just like one corner of a track, and kind of time-lapsed him building it over three hours. It was really cool. Mission kind of seems like what this is here. Oh, well, that looks important. Let's see if we can grab that. Oh, is this a key card? Is it data? Do we need it to advance? Is this where we came in? And I'll turn around here. I guess that's to be expected. Now it is like full 360 movement here and the environments are all over the place so you never know exactly which way is up and which way is down. Like if I click the left thumbstick it rights ourself. I don't know if it orients us direct to earth beneath us but right now we seem to be parallel. No kidding EVA required or repair required. 
for EVA repair station located. Oh, we found the repair station. Nice. Now, sorry, it's uh, if you've been looking forward to the video. Sorry, it's been a couple days since the last one. Now, the Overwatch series is going to continue. It might not be as uh, as on schedule as a normal schedule, like every day kind of thing. I might do some on off-screen play on it, but I will make sure to save all the loot boxes for whatever for any on-screen any recording. So, what did this fix? Can we hold more air now? Nope. So I have no idea what this fixed. Is there more for us to do in here? Uh, something over here. Nope. Let's see if we can learn what's going on here. Commander Oshima, I've reviewed your Spiritus production plan ahead of review. You are tracking positively and I remain optimistic. Regarding your alternative proposal, I can see very real benefits here and the data supports your plan around increased Spiritus production methodologies. The opportunity to implement parts of this plan into our current efforts exist and frankly speaking are innovative. Okay, was that the end of the sentence? Are innovative. That being said, I believe it is imperative that you not deviate from current objectives. The health of your crew, your station, and our mission have all been negatively affected by delays and extended timelines. Stick to plan, close this down, and bring us home. Commander, this is your moment to shine. Samuel Hawking, Mission Director, North Star. Okay, so what's going on? So there's a plan. It was on schedule. They wanted to stay on schedule. But obviously something went wrong. Something v went very wrong. Alright, let's get out of here. Hope I haven't just walked by a lot of stuff and missed it. I gotta keep scanning, I guess. Personal data device version 4.7 acquired. Multiple personal data devices detected and online. Location coordinates unknown. Well, why'd you just throw that away? What did that do? Is that just like a map marker, I wonder? Keep scanning here. Warning. Catastrophic event detected. Core systems repair required for emergency escape vehicle launch. Oh, emergency escape vehicle's cool. So we can it's telling us we can get out of here. So let's access the Spiritus computer. Spiritus is the life support systems, okay. System terminal. Spirit and system damaged and offline. You don't say. Diagnostic sequence. Cerebrum core corrupt. Mainframe offline. Cerebrum module inactive. Spirit and system repair required for Cer Cerebrum core. Operation. Locate system mainframe. Fabricate cerebrum core. Repair cerebrum module. Okay, so that's not me breathing into the mic, by the way. That is the game character. Just so we're clear. Alright, so what do we gotta do? We gotta fix the core. How do we fix the core? Can we go in here? I wonder. No, maybe not. All right, let's write ourselves here. Let's figure this out. So anyways, like I said, it's... Sorry it's been a couple days since I've recorded. Uh, <laughs> funny thing is, my jaw's been hurting. So it's been hard to talk, which makes it hard to record. And apparently my jaw's hurting because Becky tells me I've been grinding my teeth in my sleep. Which might have something to do with the stress of not having a job right now. So, yeah, so I've missed a couple days, taken a couple days off, just kind of relaxed, so hopefully it goes away, but I do find myself just while I'm resting on the couch even just clenching my jaw, so that's probably not a good thing. So, let's try and get some stress out, so maybe making some videos will help me work out the stress. 
and I can feel better, get my jaw better, stop clenching, stop grinding my teeth. Uh, this is the way we came in, isn't it? So we don't want to go that way. So what do we need to do here? What am I missing? I wonder if there's a boost I'm missing, a way to go faster. Well, I wonder if maybe that little diamond shape on the map is the way we gotta go. Cause I don't think we've been here yet. Yeah, that diamond shape seems to keep moving, so maybe we're going the right direction. Oh, I need air. Oh, this was stupid. Oh, I'm gonna die. Yep, I'm gonna die. I need some air. Oh my god. We flew off the boost. Get the air, get the air. Oh, thank god. That was close. Oh, audio log. myself I wouldn't leave it like this again. Broke both of those promises by taking another selfish paycheck job while real life passes me by down below. Father of the year. Alex really came through for me on this. So what this guy will leave his wife and kid at home? Can't All right. wait to get off this goddamn station. All right, this door is locked. Is there a way to unlock it? Let me look around here. Go up. Oh. Wonder if we gotta go. Yeah, we probably gotta go this way. Bump. Hopefully, I can find some more oxygen soon because it does seem to be a precious resource. Does not seem to be everywhere like I thought maybe it would be. Again, I hope we're going the right way. Oh, there's some air there. Okay, we're close. We're close. You're you're all right. You're all right. You're all right. Where's the air? Oh no! 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 Ah! Uh, I don't think we made it. Ah! Uh, we didn't make it. All right, retry. Let's see how far back we were. God damn. So yeah, we're going to probably play this game all the way through to the end from its description. I don't think it's going to be more than five or four or five hours, so we should be able to knock it out in a few episodes. Like I said, probably a little bit longer. We might go to 45, 50 minutes on these ones. If I remember to watch the clock and pay attention to how long we've been going, some might be shorter just to make sure. And these loading screens are kind of a pain, but what do you expect? So yeah, we're going to stick on the sci-fi theme. Um, might be doing Psychonauts soon, might uh, get into that the VR sequel and the actual official sequel now coming out. Or being officially announced, I guess, and coming out. We'll be getting into some Psychonauts, but we're going to keep on the sci-fi theme, and we're probably going to keep checking out the free games on the PSN store every month. So this month was Little Big Planet 3. Me and Becky have been playing it a little bit. Just, it's no fun playing a game like that by yourself. You need somebody to play with you. So might be making some videos of that soon, too. Just let me know what you think, if you want to see. But for now... We're going to keep finding all these little hidden sci-fi games on the PSN store, and we're going to keep going with those. This does remind me a little bit of Passengers. Me and Becky finally got around to watching that the other night. And, okay, in the environment, I guess, this reminds me of Passengers a little bit. Just the uh, ship in trouble kind of thing. Which way are we going here? Can I get in from around here, maybe? Critical thinking. So anyways, yeah, we uh, finally watched Passengers the other night, and I honestly was not a fan. I thought I was going to like it, and I did not like it at all. 
Oh, a little bit, I guess. I shouldn't say I didn't like it at all. Can we get in here? No, we can't get in here. But that, I think, is where we gotta go. So yeah, I didn't really like it. Becky didn't really like it either, to be honest. We agreed. We actually ended up watching it on Valentine's Day. We agreed it's a good Valentine's movie, but that's really about it. Uh, mild spoilers here if you haven't seen it. There's... Basically, these... The hibernation pods keep failing. Or, he wakes up because this hibernation pod failed. Now the hibernation pods are not supposed to fail. The only person he has to talk to on the ship is an android that works in the bar, kind of as a bartender. Circle around here, see if maybe we can sneak in through the DMs. So it's the only person he has to talk to. So for over a year, he's by himself. So this is like a 120, 120 year journey. They're going to colonize a new planet. He wakes up about 30 years in, so he's got 90 years to the end. Okay, yeah, good, we made the right choice coming around the back here. So, he struggles with the decision of being alone and maybe waking somebody up to keep him not alone. Now, he's part of the colonization crew that's going to help on the technical and engineering side of it. I wonder if maybe this is where we were supposed to come in. Anyway, so of course, the one guy who wakes up happens to be technically savvy and an engineer, so he eventually figures out how to wake somebody up without spoiling too much again. So, But these pods are not supposed to fail. He manages to get one to fail to wake this girl up. And not long after... One of the other pods just happened to fail on their own. Again, not supposed to happen. Just long enough for a character who happens to be a member of the crew to wake up to basically let our main characters know just how screwed they are. Oh, can I do something here? Maybe? Nope. I need oxygen. I am going to die again. Yep. I am not really sure where I'm going here. So anyways, another pod fails after he's already woken her up. So they're doing their thing. And they find out that his pod failed because of critical damage to the ship. But this guy, member of the crew who wakes up, is al alive long enough, basically, to let them know how screwed they are, where the damage is, how to fix it, and then he dies. Now, I've never written a movie, but I'm pretty sure... That's not good writing. Like, now I heard, I've heard the movie's based on a book. Now, again, I'm, I'm speculating here. I'm not 100% sure. I've heard the movie was based on a book, and it was just supposed to be a man who woke up by himself alone, and that was it. Now, in the movie, he ends up waking up Jennifer Lawrence. Now, who wouldn't? He falls in love with her by, like, going through the ship's kind of, like, Facebook he just stumbles upon, he's reading random people, and he stumbles upon this woman, he decides to wake her up. Anyways, pod fails, Lawrence Fishburne wakes up, who's a member of the crew, he gets sick, he's got this sickness because of the way his pod failed, now why Chris Pratt's character doesn't get sick because his pod failed, I'm not sure. I think they kind of explain it away because of the, like, Lawrence Fishburne's been hib in hibernation for or many more times or something, so his body's more jacked from hibernating, waking up, hibernating, waking up, which makes no sense because, well, you'd have to see the movie. It's hard to explain here, but, and just like that, he's alive, the heroes know they're screwed, what they need to do to fix it, and then he dies. Uh, without Lawrence Fishburne waking up, they also probably would have died, all the 5,000 people on the ship in hibernation would have died, so... They get to be, of course, setting up the moment, do I save the girl or save 5,000 people on the ship? I'll let you guess what happens there. Classic Hollywood magic, everybody's fine. The pl yeah, the, another problem I had with it was the characters, the plot armor was too thick. There was just no danger. How did we get in here? Did we get in through the back? I don't know. Broken window.
Now, I wonder, do I have that key card that I had last time? No, there it is. I gotta get it again. Okay, so it's telling me I need to repair a mainframe. So anyways, yeah, back to passengers. I guess really the main reason I can think of that I didn't like it was just... Okay, so we didn't come in the door, so we should probably go out a door. Let's top up our oxygen. Yeah, so passengers, I didn't really like, I guess, because it was just too Hollywood. It was kind of the same reason I didn't really like I Am Legend. It was just predictable. It's from the moment the movie started, you just knew what would happen, how it would end. Of course it has a happy ending. So, is there a way to unlock these doors? Like, what do I do once I'm in here? Because I don't think I can unlock the door. Doesn't seem to be a way to unlock the door. Is there something? Okay. Oh, come on. Or maybe I don't need to go back that way. Maybe I just needed to figure a way around. Okay, come on. Come on! It's right there. Or that's an empty can, isn't it? Let's see if we can get it. Oh, just in the nick of time. Okay, so I'm an idiot. I guess we just have to keep going. I just needed to find the card. The key card. Alright, so it might make me sound jaded saying, you know, it's too Hollywood, predictable. But I I've just seen a lot of movies, that's all it is. I've, I've watched a lot of movies, a lot of TV, and just when stuff like that happens, I'm not surprised. Like, I'm more happy when I go into a movie and I end up being surprised. Now, Rogue One, when I went to see Rogue One, that was a surprise because... After hearing all the problems that the production had gone through and the reshoots, I really was not expecting it to be as good as it was. And it was far better than I thought it would have been. Now, I wish I had had better seats for it. Uh, the day me and Becky went, we didn't realize it was a Tuesday. It was a cheap Tuesday. So by the time we got there, the theater was full. So we end up s stuck sitting in the like second row from the front with our necks craned up. So, we planned on going back to see it again, but we never ended up getting there to do it, which is a shame, but I'm going to end up buying it when it comes out anyway, so it doesn't really matter all that much. And big news, apparently now, with the new Star Wars movie, is with the translations of the new title, The Last Jedi. I think in the Spanish and Portuguese translations, it's plural. It's... Uh, written in the plural, which I guess in English there's no way, like Jedi is just Jedi, but in Spanish and French they're, or Spanish and Portuguese I think it were, the uh, the titles are written in like a possessive kind of term and they are, or maybe not possessive isn't the right word, but yeah they're written in a plural context, so it gives us some idea that maybe Luke isn't the last Jedi and that there is going to be more Oh, here, this is pretty. Let's just enjoy the silence here for a second. This is one of the nicest rooms we've come across here. The way the water is just beaded up in zero gravity. That's cool. Oh, we can't get it on our helmet. I was hoping we could maybe get some splashed on our helmet there. That'd be cool. Yes, we'll continue forward here. And maybe see what happens soon here. Maybe call it a day shortly. Because, as I mentioned earlier, I forgot to watch the clock when I started here, so I'm not quite sure how long we've been going here. Let's make 
make sure we fill up on our oxygen. And take a scan, see what's going on in here. Yeah, it doesn't really seem to be much in this room here. So let's continue forward. Now, because I'm going in blind, like, I really don't know if there are collectibles I'm missing or if there's items, like, anything I'm missing here. But, like I said, based on the description, it's a first-person experience, so I'm thinking I'm more just kind of along for the ride. And I'm okay with that. So I'm more the type of person that likes to play the games for the stories. I'm a story junkie. I love movies, like I said, I've seen a, I watch a lot of movies, a lot of TV, comic books, books too even. I'm just addicted to a good story. So, we haven't got much in the way of story from this yet, so hopefully... Oh! Don't want to miss that. Make sure we grab that. The button's mixed up here. There we go. First Another call, audio log. System specialist, McDonough, Andrew, 11, June, 2037. Lucy's recital of the note perfect Beethoven Sonata number eight. Every time I hear it, I think about how I never got to where she is now. I gave up my dream a long time ago. I could see her achieving and surpassing it every time she performed. I had to struggle and work so hard, she'll never know that feeling. She's got the gift I never had. You can hear it in her playing. It's natural, effortless, beautiful. I'm so proud of her. So I wonder if these audio logs are from the same guy. I wasn't really paying that close attention. Maybe I probably should have been. We're getting some story. The communication from both crew and station abruptly ceased and have not been re-established post-event. The station's last coordinate transmission placed it in orbit above the northeast coast of Australia and the remains of the Great Barrier Reef. Hardiman Aerospace has yet to release any information regarding the current status of the station or its crew. For instant updates, stay connected to Global Information Network stream. Alright, so maybe we're the only one alive because there's been no contact. Okay, and I've just been following the trail here, hoping that it leads me to a way in. I don't see a way in here. Pretty sure this is where we're supposed to go. This is a satellite. Well, yeah, we're going to run out of air here, I think, before we figure it out. Yep. Well, all right. So, game doesn't really give you much to go on. You are just along for the ride. So, maybe we'll just load back in here and take stock of our situation and try and figure it out for next time. So let's see. It's kind of strange. I was kind of hoping for a little bit more in the way of help on that. Like, I kind of assume you just follow the, the path, right? They looked like a path, the, the particles, the destruction. Because that must have been where we had to go. That's where the icons were leading me. Come on, game. I'm on a drift with a one. Oh yeah, I didn't mention that either. A game apparently is spelt with a one instead of an I in a drift. I wonder if that's just to make it stand out or make it not sound like a, a racing game. Pretty interesting. Choice. Alright, where's it starting us here? Alright, well it's starting us back here. So we've got a ways to go. So we'll just pick it up next time here. So thanks everybody for tuning in. And uh, 
If you like what you see, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more in the future. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.